Alrighty. So for those of you in here who haven't seen this already, this is the uh, Pro Tour uh, New Phyrexia David Inglis list um, that him, Eli Loveman, and Zachary Kine all played, or Keen? I'm not sure. Um, I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, they all played this list to uh, pretty good success in the uh, Pro Tour. Um, this list is different from regular lists. Uh, because it works off the back of this little pa eight card package of Traverse the Ulvenwald and uh, I'm sorry, seven card pack, six card package, off of Tra uh, Traverse the Ulvenwald and Vessel of Nascency. Um, Vessel being your copy of uh, your copies of Seder Wayfinder effectively, and then um, helping turn on the Delirium for Traverse, which allows you to go uh, search a Grease Fang for one mana. Um, I played this on stream last week my opinion was that it was uh it, it it loses a lot of the speed that you normally expect out of grease sang from game one it does have draws where you can kill them on turn three still with the combo but you don't have as much consistency because your vessel inacency is both your turn one and turn two play for only four cards um, and you're really relying on having hands with Grizzly Salvage to get you there, um, instead of, as opposed, or like the Mutt slash Informant and just having the Grease Fang in the hand already. Um, it is a little bit better at playing the long resource management game because you do have Traverse to grab um, your Informants or Grease Fangs to finish the board. It does play the full four Chariots, full two Sky Sovereigns, uh, and then four Parhelions. Um, it does only play one can't stay away. Um, but the big thing for me is that Witherbloom Command here, I, I used to play three Witherbloom Command in my list. I cut one for Glissa. My biggest thing with Witherbloom Command is that it's either like literally the best card in the deck or it's the worst card in the deck. And there's really no in-between. Um, and what I found in this list when I played it last time is that the Witherbloom Commands were a little um, lacking and that I didn't have good targets. It could have been I played some bad matchups. It could also have been because my RNG was terrible. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm willing to give it a second try. So let's run into another league with this list. Ah. Here we go. So we finished 4-1 in the last league, which gave me enough play points to start up this league hopefully we'll be able to get a nice nice couple wins going hopefully we also want to spend 14 minutes of our day getting roped by a salty esper control player So, Brian, I have no idea if you're home by now from work, but if you are, you're you are the one playing the deck. So, I if you'd like to weigh in on some decisions, that's perfectly fine. I also just realized that our opponent Arianne, that was playing that Mardu Yorion list that we lost to, <laughs> is at six trophies. Oh, they just trophied with the list, yo. <laughs> <laughs> they just trophied with the list. Look at that. 5, 12 p.m. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> they trophied with that list. Wow. The hero we need. Yeah. Luke, have you found your new deck? Your new Pioneer deck? <laughs> it's going to be in the 5-0 dump. Almost, almost certainly. You'll get to see it. All right, we have our one Swamp in hand, which kind of sucks if we uh, run into a Field of Ruin deck. But, you know, I'm willing to keep this hand. We have two Informants to draw out of it and a Witherbloom Command. Uh, and we have a turn one Thoughtseize. Our opponent mold to six. Planes. Cool, mono white. 
we drew our one, can't stay away. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a interesting hand you got there, opponent. Yeah, unfortunately, Mutavault's going to be able to turn on the training, but. Oh, cool. Thoughtseize bug. Got it. We love the Thoughtseize bug. <laughs> no, it would not be cool if Slippery Bogle was printed into Pioneer. Uh, Grizzly Salvage was a very good draw. I am much more willing to play that than just throw an Informant to the Wolves. Uh, actually, am I? I think so. I think the upside of hitting a Parhelion off of the Grizzly Salvage and grabbing our third land is absurd. You would play Informant. Yeah, our, our life total is going to get pressured a little bit, but like on the same note... Yeah, I, on the same note, like this is so high upside that if we hit a Parhelion off of this, they lose the game. And, and that's just it. And we did not hit a Parhelion. <laughs> Okay, so now we're on to plan two. Uh, we did hit an Eskis Chariot, though. That is fine. I understand that they have no destruction-based removal. Oops. So thing is there now if we had done the informant then we would have bricked <laughs> pretty hard i'm not saying i'm correct it just helps okay luminarch aspirant is not good for us um so i will likely be trading with the mutavault and taking six and then i can put a bunch of blockers into play Um, the other thought to this is that I could, I could go ahead and Witherbloom command away the Luminarch Aspirant now. Um, they do have one unknown in hand. Um, if I Witherbloom away the Aspirant now, and I mill a... Grease Fang, then I get to can't stay away the Grease Fang, buy back the Chariot. Because um, let's see, we're going to have three blockers next turn. I think the safer line is just to play the Grease Fang. Oh, I actually don't have four land this turn. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're, we just play the Grease Fang. Get back the chariot. Crew the chariot. Swing, make a copy. Uh, this loses to brave the elements, though, is the only thing. Play our land for turn. Bounce the chariot back. But I guess if they have brave, then good beats. Screlv. Wonderful. We don't lose to that. Alright. Mana Confluence. I know, I'm dead to Brave it anyway. Um, so... I think we can start with a Witherbloom command, blow up the Skrelv, and mill, and then see from there. Skrelv obviously leaves us dead on board, so we have to prioritize that over Luminarch Aspirant. Uh, 
Uh, we milled another chariot, but not a Parhelion. Uh, so we can go ahead and play Mana Confluence, and let's cast the Informant. Put another body on board that keeps us alive through Brave. Pitch Chariot. They have no cards in hand, so we're not going to be thought seizing them. We'll return the Chariot. Crew with the Grease Fang. Ah, oh, they're going to blow up the Chariot. That's perfectly fine with me. I still get cats out of the exchange. Pass the turn. Adeline, Brutal Cathar. Sure. Little do they know. You think crewing with Fang was an error? I don't think so, because if they have Brave, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't die that turn. I'm at 5. I block the... Yeah, I understand. I, I, I thought about that. So if they Brave for green, I still get to block the lethal one, and I just go to 1. Parhelion. Um, so we can, I think we just reanimate the Grease Fang here. So we are at five mana, we can just do it again. Oops, not that color. Oh, I can buy back scrap work. You're right. You're so right. That is my fault. I am not used to having uh, unearth cards in the yard. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, I think this is going to get the job done anyway. Um, I am still cold to a brave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's my fault for being hasty. I think they're deciding whether they want to scoop to this or not. Uh, so how much stuff do I want to swing with? They can just eat the chariot. That's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me, uh, let me do this. I don't really need to... I can't zoom in on this, can I? Um, I have to leave the informant back. What if I swing with everything else? Uh, hey, Dre, thank you for the follow. I think I can swing with everything else. Um, I do want to try and put some damage on them this turn, because I can do the thing. Um, so if we swing like this... They eat the chariot with this hopeful initiate. They block one of the cats here. And they take 6, go to 10. And then I have 5 blockers left over. Yeah. Yep. Take 6. Alright. 
And then let's fade Brave one more turn. Brave actually kills us now. Yep. Okay, looks like we faded Brave. Yep, yep, yep. You're 100% right. Or we can, yeah, we can do that one too. Save ourselves a damage. I'm surprised they didn't activate this. So they're dead if I swing with these cats. Yeah, they realize their mistake. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Kaburb? Okay. I, I completely forgot they had the activation for that. Um, okay, so we want Fatal Pushes and Raise. And likely a... Knight of Autumn to blow up their rest in peace. Um, I need to pull up Inglis's sideboard guide. Let's see what he brings in. Uh, so I'm going to assume that WW is White Weenie. Uh, brings in two push, two ray. And takes out three vessels, so he plays 60... Oh, sorry, and it can't stay away. Yeah. So we will do exactly that. Uh, Yeah, drop the Knight of Autumn. All right. Also, hello, Funkmaster Fritz. I assume you are someone from the Discord? New in the Discord. Cool. Yeah, so so this is, again, going back to what we were talking about the other day, Brian, is I, I don't think that um, this hand probably solid keep. <laughs> um, I don't think that the sideboard guide is necessarily 100% correct. But I am, again, not really super willing to argue because the man has Pro Tour experience and I do not. All right, well, we have a lot of duplicates in this hand. So Thalia, nope. Uh, so should I... Ray the Luminarch Aspirant, is that worth it? I think so. They only have four cards left in hand. And I think it's just... Uh... I agree. Um... Yeah, I use my mana. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just be mana efficient. My only concern is that... Um... I guess they just slam Adeline next turn anyway. Uh, let's play the Dark Boar Pathway on black. And pass the turn. Yeah, that's true. Double hopeful initiate, huh? Well, we did the thing, boys. And girls. <laughs> Skill, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> we got there. That that right there, that's more how my grizzly salvages in paper look like. <laughs> I don't have many grizzly salvages that whiff in paper. It seems like they, they like to whiff on MTGO. 
but yeah, that that matchup is also kind of kind of easy. Um, so for those of you that weren't in here uh, for my league that I ran through with my personal list, um, like Kaburb, uh, the we went four uh, one. The only loss was to this opponent right here, Ariane, who trophied with the deck <laughs> thirty minutes ago, uh, and they were playing Mardu uh, Yorion mid range, which was basically just red black mid range <laughs> splashing white. <laughs> Uh, okay, Giganta deck. Um, this hand we have to mulligan because we don't have a second land. Good to know. I did not know that, yeah. Um, actually... I'm 80% sure that we mulligan this hand. Actually, I'm 90% sure that we mulligan this hand, but there is some pause for consideration. Uh, we have a turn one Thought Seize. We also have turn one Vessel. And we do have Scrapwork Mutt plus Rafine's Informant if we hit a second land. I think we just mulligan it anyway. What do you think, Brian? I'm sure the, the phrase, we don't keep one landers in this house, is about to come out. Risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, it's it's not like the worst hand in the world. The flip side is that if our opponent is playing Boros Heroic, we're kind of just dead in the water, unless we hit the nut. Uh, I think I'll I think I'll just ship it back. If that vessel was Traverse, I think I would definitely keep that hand because that guarantees the second land drop. Ooh, that's disgusting. Um, this is also not great. Should have kept? Yeah, probably. That's fine. So we'll ship back the chariot for sure. Um, do we want to ship back the thought seas? Yeah, I think, I think it has to be thought seas. Just to keep ourselves live with Witherbloom Command. And then keep the Parhelion just in case we hit the nut. Hey, it's a mirror match. Oh, no, it's not, because they have Gigantha. Skrelv? No, it's Auras. Got it. Okay, well, this Witherbloom Command will be pretty nice. Light pause. That one I can't deal with. Second Witherbloom command. Well, gonna go ahead and nug the Skrelv. Uh, we will get our Temple Garden. And hope that they can't kill me. If they have Cartusha Solidarity, ooh, yeah, okay. That gets bad. Kaya's Ghost Form. And the Audacity. I can't believe that they would have the Audacity. To hit me for nine damage. Um, hmm. So any other one mana enchantment lets them get a second ethereal armor. Um, I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to kill the warrior token and blow up the ethereal armor with this witherbloom command. Uh, it already has Trample, so killing the Ethereal Armor takes the most power off the board. They do also only have two cards in hand. So, do this. We cast this uh, to... Uh, or actually, do we want to mill? 
I don't think we want to mill. I think we, we're already okay with playing Informant next turn, so I think we just want to um, take care of their board. And then kind of just hope that they don't have another Ethereal Armor. Three mana. Add Gigantha. Sure. Take five. Drew a second part Helion. Let's do this first. Discard the Parhelion, play the Temple Garden tapped, and we are in some trouble. So we for sure take three this turn. SRAM. Sure, so that just grabs that that's just lethal. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see, what does he have against auras? Nothing, his sideboard guy does not include auras. Uh, okay, so I think we want these four and a Knight of Autumn. Uh, yes, Lily is good here. Um, maybe we don't want the Knight of Autumn. Bring in the four lilies. So what are we looking at cutting here? Are we looking at just cutting Thought Seize entirely? No, that can't be right because he kept them in. I think we're just cutting chariots. We're cutting the chariots full stop. And probably cutting the mutts. Then trimming the can't stay away and one vessel. <coughs> I believe. You like it? I'm just wondering, wondering if we should bring in the Knight of Autumn as well. I wonder if we should bring in the Knight of Autumn and go down a Thought Seize. I think that's worth trying. Try it like that. Would like to play first, yes. This hand is not good. This hand is better. So we will keep it and ship back the... Um, probably the Mana Confluence. So we can find a second land off of Razor Verge Thicket. Uh, Audacity, Rest in Peace, Sram Sram, Warbriar's Blessing. We will take the Rest in Peace. They also kept a hand with Mana Confluence with Seiju, so they will be taking some amount of damage this game. Alright, there's a Traverse. Pass the turn. Yep. Let's cast our Grizzly Salvage. Uh, wow, we found the one land that cast, can't cast Liliana. Uh, that's bad. 
Okay. Uh, so I think we're going to play the Rafine's Informant and then Ray of Enfeeblement the SRAM. Discarding. We have four card types, so we can tutor up our dude. Yeah, I do have Delirium. Um, problem being is that I need a third land to combo next turn. Um, I think we just discard the Grizzly Salvage because we already have the Parhelions in the bin. Um, I want to keep this Liliana's Veil in case they... Oh, sorry, I need to do this now so I can't draw cards. Um, I do want to keep this Liliana of the Veil in case they slam a rest in peace. Sweet. Land? Not a land. <sighs> so now we are in a little bit of trouble. Um, I think we're going to traverse for the Grease Fang this turn, even though it's going to be super duper obvious. Yeah, I can't, I can't kill, uh, kill Sram. I don't have a second Black Source for the Liliana. So I just, I, I have to traverse for Grease Fang and just fade a turn. Oh, right, right. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if that's a winning line either. I mean, they obviously don't have any creatures. So. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Better? Okay. My uh, Bluetooth headset has a little dongle thing that plugs in, and it's kind of sensitive. It must have gotten bopped. Um, okay, so back to what I was doing. Um, man, I wish this could come into play on tats, because... I would much rather kill off this SRAM instead of let it get massive. Um, but I think at this point we are just priced into casting the Grease Fang. And just kind of hoping that it gets there. If I had a Sky Sovereign that would have helped. Uh, the question is, do I want to swing with the Rafine's Informant to put them to two? Or do we just decide that that doesn't matter and I can Parhelion them anyway? I think I don't want to do that. I think I just want to swing with the Parhelion. I know they have the Warbriar's Blessing. So they can fight it off. But that locks up a bunch of their mana for the turn. Yeah. I think they're probably going to use the Warbriar's Blessing on the Grease Fang, if I'm being brutally honest. Also, this Audacity is gone. All that glitters. Ooh, that's really bad. Blessing. Yeah, because now they're going to gain a shit ton of life. Ooh, boy. Ooh. 
so they're going to get to gain 16 life this turn. At least I kill Shram. Yeah. But at what cost? Well, they didn't do anything with it, so we're going to take that Shram off the board. All right, you're at one. Okay, so on the draw, do we want to change anything? Um, I am kind of a fan of bringing a Thoughtseize back in over a Liliana. Um, do we want to bring in the Can't Stay Away? I don't think we do. They still are a Rest in Peace deck. So I think we just run it back like this. Um, this hand is interesting. Uh, I don't know if this is good interesting, though. <laughs> Um, I mean, you're super cold to a Glade Cover Scout anyway. Uh, and they're keeping seven. <laughs> so do we keep this off the back of Double Thought Seas and Vessel? Or do we try and find a better position hand? Yeah, this is tough. I think the downsides to this hand are that we have no removal in any way, shape, or form. So we're really, really hell-bent on these thought seizes getting us there. Um, and if they just go turn one Glade Cover Scout, then we kind of just like lose on the spot. Uh, I think... I think... I think we gotta try it. I think we gotta try it. No! <laughs> Not the Glade Cover Scout. <laughs> Shit. And we drew the fatal push for it. Uh, none. None of the hands let you deal with Glade like, Cover Scout unless you draw exactly Liliana. Um, well, the good thing is we're going to take this Ethereal Armor off of them, and they can't... Actually, what is Alpha Authority? Can't be blocked by more than one creature. Um, I think I'm going to take this... I think this Alpha Authority doesn't matter. Just take the Ethereal Armor. It's a lot more damage. Um, only the hands with Liliana let you deal with Glade Cover Scout. Only one damage. I'm okay with this. Swamp. Um, so I think what we want to do is go ahead and Thought Seize the Alpha Authority away. It doesn't actually buff them, does it?
So maybe not. I think maybe we just play the vessel and hold up Fatal Push in case they draw a second creature. Like if they go SRAM, that's kind of bad, or Light Pause. I think either way we're playing the vessel, and I think we'll I think we'll just hold up Fatal Push. Uh, they can't cast the Hammer Hand, and the Alpha Authority doesn't really do anything right now anyway. So yeah, let's just hold up Fatal Push. Oh, that's bad. Um, yeah. Another mana confluence. All right, well, now the Alpha Authority actually does something, and we, they do have one unknown card in hand. So I think we're going to play Swamp and Thoughtseize and try to crack the Vessel. Uh, Kaya's Ghost Form, they can't cast, we'll take Alpha Authority. We are kind of damaging ourselves a lot, though. Ugh. They are ripping quite well through our Thought Seizes. Informant, Informant, and Vessel, Salvage. Well, we're taking one of the Informants. Because it blocks. We drew a ray. So we'll cast the informant. Pitching Parhelion. Hope they don't draw an Alpha Authority. Cartusha Solidarity. And then I'm going to Fatal Push this end of turn in case we draw Liliana. Then we can get this Glade Cover Scout off the table. Ooh, we drew Liliana. All right, and then we know their hand is Beseju, Hammer Hand, Kaya's Ghost Form. It's Lightning Helix. Yeah, <laughs> okay, they scoop to that. Jesus. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that. I would too. I mean, maybe not. You have two free cards to pitch in your hand to get you through a little bit. And, like, if I brick, then I'm not pressuring you in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're already doing infinitely better than the last time we played this list. I can get whichever one you want. What is that supposed to mean, Anthony? <laughs> All 
Uh, oh, oh. Default Bop Andy. Yeah, I mean, I have other profiles. I have, uh, I think all of these you got me. I've got Agnes, Tenacious Underdog, the default 20th anniversary one. I got choices. I can just be Birds of Paradise, though. All right, round three. Uh, I would like to be on the play, yes. Uh, this hand is horrific. Uh, this hand is much better. So we're going to keep this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the question is, do we want to ship back the vessel? Or do we want to ship back the informant? I'm thinking the vessel. Because we have a guaranteed Rafine's informant, Pitch Sky Sovereign, Grease Fang. So I, I think I'm keeping this. I think I'm shipping the vessel back. Yeah. The vessel is like super high upside if we play that turn one and then crack it and hit a Parhelion, but like this is probably good against oh no, not Thoughtseize. Boo Thoughtseize. This is the one time that Vessel would have been good. <laughs> yeah, there goes Informant. Mutt off the top, please. Okay. Vessel. So looks like we may be up against red black mid could could literally be anything no, probably red black mid yep there's a bank buster ooh wither bloom command ooh wither bloom command let's do it let's do it Get that bank buster out of my game. No, not quite mono black mid range. Oh, but they have the second thought seize. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, a chariot, right on time. Yeah, best card of the matchup by by a mile. It's not even close. Oh, hey, thanks. I would like to put the Sky Sovereign in the bin. Thank you. Thank you, opponent. Such a nice opponent. Uh, so I'm doing this because I want to represent having Greasing. Ah. Uh, boo, hiss, boo. Play this. Dark Boar on black, and we're just going to crack the vessel end of turn. Well, that is one of their two power word kills out of the deck. What the? Did... <laughs> what? They just. <laughs> they just took two damage for free, huh? Yeah, I guess they did that to cast Croxa. Wow, that is so loose. That is so incredibly loose. <laughs> and they only have one card in hand. <coughs> uh, Well, there's a can't stay away. Or one of can't stay away. <laughs> Hello, opponent. 
<laughs> Hello, opponent. <laughs> Goodbye, opponent. <laughs> All right, so I assume against Red Black, we want Lily of the Veils. Let's check his sideboard list. Yeah, four Liliana, one Knight of Autumn. Minus four Witherbloom Command. And minus one Parhelion. Well, that seems super wrong to me. There has to be a better cut than a Parhelion. They can't interact with Vessel, so I'm not really willing to cut that. Can't stay away is nice to fight through all their removal. There's no way. There has to be a better cut than Parhelion. Uh, whatever. I'll roll it back. This is their list, their sideboard guide. I, I'm 90% sure you don't cut Parhelion there. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to cut, like, a mutt. No lands, no keep. One land. Uh, it's not even a very high upside land either, so we're going to five. This is fine. We will... <sighs> Do we force the hand and... We have to ship a land back no matter what. I think we ship back Godless Shrine Vessel and just pray that they don't have Thought Seize. Uh, it's a 5, Kaburb. It's a 5. Not a 7. I think that's, I think that's what we're doing. I think we're sh shipping back Vessel and Godless Shrine, and if they don't have Thought Seize, they lose the game. Probably. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, they have the Thoughtseize. Of course they do. Goodbye, Rafine's Informant. Yeah. Thoughtseize bug? One time? Ooh, Traverse. So, do we want to Traverse now to go get our Swamp so that we can guarantee play Grease Fang on turn 3? I think that's what we want to do. Even though it gives them a ton of information. If we... Yeah, if we draw one of our five remaining ways to pitch Parhelion, then we're just, like, golden. Or a way to mill a Parhelion. Eh, Sky Sovereign is not that. Fable is fine. Okay. Um, is there any benefit to playing the Grease Fang now? Uh, I don't think so. It makes it weak to their removal. Gives them the chance to kill it. Pitch Castle Lockthwain, second fable. Oh, Liliana's not bad. Um, only problem with Liliana is that I can't necessarily protect it at all. Actually, I can't. It's not that I can't necessarily. I just can't protect it at all. They have Hive next turn. So, do we want a Liliana edict? Force them to kill the Liliana.
Yeah, that's probably going to have to be what it is. Um, the alternative side to this is that if I, well, no, because they can do both next turn, so they can activate Hive, exile the vehicle I put in the bin. Yeah, yeah, so if I Liliana uptick put a vehicle in the bin, they can activate Hive to exile the vehicle in the bin, and they can crew with the Goblin Shaman and the Flipped Fable to kill the Liliana with the Reckoner Bankbuster. So I don't think we have any way to play around this. Um, alternatively, I could also just not play the Liliana and wait a turn, but I don't think that gets any better. Yeah, I think we just make them sack while we can. And it's not great, but then it means that we either get hit by Bankbuster or Hive next turn. We don't get hit by both. And then, like, God forbid they leave the Liliana around, then, like, we win the game. Unless they have removal. Sure, Pithing Needle is a problem. Choosing Liliana of the Veil. Vale. That's bold. All right. Pass the turn. And now that we know that they have Needle, I kind of think we should bring some Witherbloom commands back in. Honestly, maybe just like completely side out of Liliana the Veil. Oh, go blank. That's rough. Uh, so we're pitching Skyship Parhelion. Yeah, I think we're pitching Skyship Parhelion and then just hoping this Grizzly Salvage gets us there. Yeah. But yeah, I think we should just straight swap the Lilianas for the Witherbloom commands uh, for game three. They killed the Liliana anyway. Cool. Uh, well, I think we're taking Mutt. Gives us a little bit of a redraw. Okay, so Mutt, pitch Parhelion, draw land, please. Not draw land. Okay. Well, now we're in the shit, because they're going to have their Bank Buster active. And they're going to be able to fire up the Hive and exile the Parhelion. They didn't fire up the Hive. Interesting. Are they going to go blank me again? Yeah, okay, we can scoop to that one. Okay. Um, so do we want to straight swap the Liliana, the Veils, back to the Witherbloom commands to deal with the threat of Pithing Needle? 
or is Liliana just like the single best card in this matchup? I think Liliana is very good. Half and half. Could do half and half. I was also thinking maybe you could go minus two Mutt, go up to Witherbloom Command. Because you don't necessarily need the Mutt since we have the Lilianas. So what if we did that? What if we what if we drop the two mutts? Because the mutts the the body of the mutt doesn't mean anything. Um, we drop the two mutts and bring in two witherbloom commands. Yeah, and that way we get to keep four Liliana, but then we also have outs in the deck to pithing needle, so we don't have to like just hard scoop to a pithing needle naming Parhelion. Uh, this hand is pretty good. Uh, I could have a Thought Seize, but I'm willing to keep it. This probably guarantees a Chariot on four. And we have double Grizzly Salvage as Thought Seize insulation in case our opponent has turn one Thought Seize three games in a row. Which they do. Cool. You just took the chariot. That's fine. And we draw a third grizzly salvage. Sure. Ooh, that's re that's really bad. That's three of our four chariots. We need a grease fang here. Thought sees okay. Well, that's better. Um, I definitely want to thought sees them here because I want to. Oh my god, they have double go blank. Oh, that's so bad. We have three of our four chariots in the bin and a parhelion. I have to take the go blank. I have to take one of them. Uh, all right, and then we can play a Rafine's Informant. Yeah, I know, right? I think there. I mean, the lists online say they only play two. Uh, yeah, okay. So they're gonna untap and go blank me. Sure. I was going to block anyway. That was the whole point of me playing it that turn. Alright, well, three chariots down. Uh, I think we're just going to hold up Grizzly Salvage. Hope they don't draw a third go blank. Children is fine. So I have a land and one unknown. Hey, that's pretty good. Play rat, get our fourth chariot back. Throw it into the Shieldred for free. Uh, there is actually, I guess, some thought to not do that. As long as I fade a piece of gravy. Oh, yeah, okay. That's the reason not to do that. Um, if we draw a Parhelion, though, we get to discard it, thanks to this Trespasser. 
Oh my god. Whoa, called shots today. Okay, so we're going to destroy, we're going to drain them for two and give the trespasser negative three, negative one. Nice trespasser, bro. Um, I do not want to swing with the cats. I think I just want to swing with the Parhelion. Uh, or do I want to swing with the cats? So they block a cat. They take four. They go to one. Then they go to three on their upkeep. Unless they have... Uh, oh, no. We know the last card in their hand. Um, I like putting them to one, uh, just in case. And we're also not at threat of dying. And if they don't want to go to one, they can, I can eat their trespasser for free. Okay. You are at one. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. That's cool. So I go to five. So now if they drew double fatal push. So this blight step isn't in their hand anymore. And these angel tokens dodge power word kill. Thank God. All right, you have one card in your hand. Say Dreadbore. It's not. You are going to draw for free. Sweet. Okay. Nice. Got there. Oh boy, that Wither Bloom command was clutch as fuck. Clutch as fuck. All right, well, today we don't have Cursed Leagues, which is nice. I, I don't like playing Cursed Leagues. Three wins means we get to do another league, though I think because it's getting a little bit late, uh, we may not do this third league today. Oh, well, this hand's cracked. Keeping that hand. We have a Gigantha. Ah, we're playing against Red Black Sack. All right, well, Witherbloom Command is absurdly good in this matchup. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that <laughs> nice hand. Nice hand, opponent. <laughs> Holy... I will take one. I will cast this Rafine's Informant. I will discard 
I think Essica's Chariot, because I want to get around their board. Yeah. So I have one unknown in hand. Now it's two unknowns. Fable is fine. Attack with it all. Put you to 14. Probably going to loot away their two lands. Croxa. Interesting. Sweet. All right. Uh, so against Sack, he wants minus two Mutt, minus one Parhelion for plus one Knight of Autumn, plus two Duress. Duress, Knight of Autumn, minus one Parhelion, minus two Mutt. I still don't know about this whole uh, cutting Parhelion thing, but we'll see. Witherbloom Command, very, very good in this matchup. Okay, well... Uh, do they play Thoughtseize? It's the only reason I would consider not keeping this hand, but I think I'm keeping it anyway. Uh, Racta Sacrifice. They do play four Thoughtseize in the board. I think I'm willing to take my chances. We are up a game. Alright, no Thoughtseize this turn. Alright, we are now Thoughtseize proof. <laughs> You have a blood tithe. I would like to cast Rafine's Informant, please. Discarding Parhelion. And let's hope... Do they have any graveyard hate? They have one hearse. One hearse, one abrade. 1k command. Okay. Yeah, it seems winnable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems winnable. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I will take three damage. I will play a Blooming Marsh, and I will cast a Grease Fang Okiba Boss. They have a Fatal Push. They do. Sure. But they missed their land drop that turn. I will take three. Tap out. Uh, why can't you just tap out? Which is oven. Okay, well now we can duress you. Eaten alive. Sacrifice a creature or pay so they can't. I mean, I'm going to take this anyway. Oops.
Okay, cool. All right, solid 4 0. Let's see if we can go for the trophy. Let's see if we can go for the trophy. Five O incoming. I sure hope so. I can't lie. I I will have to eat my words really, really hard because I don't think this list is the best list of Grease Fang. But if I trophy with it over the four one of my list earlier, then you know it is what it is. <laughs> I will be on the play. I do think it's meh. I, I think that losing the... Ooh, this hand is interesting. Um, I think that losing the speed of being able to consistently turn three is not great. Uh, what did they reveal? They revealed Gigantha. Um, I'm on the draw. No, I'm on the play. So this could be heroic sack or something else. Could be boats. Um, I have six options to discard. I think I'm willing to keep this one. It might be a little loose. Um, yeah, it, it, but I mean, like, I'm also not, like, 100% wrong, because uh, someone posted uh, PVDDR's uh, Reddit response to someone that said that uh, the they think this list is more consistent at comboing, but it's not as fast at comboing. Okay, this is Auras again. Well... Uh, we might be in some trouble. Alright, so I think we are kind of priced into playing this Witherbloom command and trying to mill and drain to hit a vehicle. Uh, since it is our only enabler, even though it does blow up their stuff, I'm... We don't really have the opportunity to wait. Uh, there's a scrapwork mutt. That's pretty good. They're stuck on one land. That's also pretty good for us. All right, so play mana confluence, unearth mutt. Discard Parhelion. We have the full playset of Dreadborg Pathways. Swing for two. And let's hope they're stuck on land some more and can't get there. I also think this game is locked, but there are... They do have outs. We're not putting them dead. We're putting them to three. Uh, I think this game is a lock if we draw another way to discard the Parhelion. Um, it is also possible that they like untap and like play a bunch of enchantments and kill us. Alright, 
So you go to two. Uh, it's not off. They can tap it for one more mana. That has to come in tapped. Okay. <laughs> they suicided. Got it. All right. So again, we brought in Liliana of the Veils, uh, Fatal Pushes, and Rays. Um, yeah, well, no. Yeah, you're right, because then I don't have to tap the Confluence. Um, so here's my question. From what we sideboarded earlier, yeah. Uh, from what we sideboarded earlier, do we actually, like... Do we actually want Duress? So if we bring in four Liliana of the Veil and two Duress instead of Fatal Push and Ray of Enfeeblement? Or, like, two Duress and two Ray, Ray of Enfeeblement? Well, Ray of Enfeeblement, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we can go ahead and drop the chariots. Because um, my problem with push and ray is that if we bring in both, then like the extra copies are dead if they have a glade cover scout. Um, I'm also willing to bring in a knight of autumn over... I can't stay away. Because um, right now I'm looking at cutting all of the vessels, because I think that they're too slow. So what if we cut all the vessels for three push, or for one push and two ray? And then just don't play duress? Yeah, I think we can do that. Uh, this hand is pretty good, so I'm willing to keep. They don't have Glade Cover Scout. Of course they do. Um, Traverse can grab us the Grease Fang, so I'm going to play the Dark Boar Pathway here and hold up Rave Enfeeblement for a SRAM or a Light Pause. Yep. Okay. Don't like taking five. Uh, all right, so we're definitely playing the... I think we're playing the Rufine's Informant this turn because there's a likelihood that we just die if we don't. Yeah, Lily is a rip. Um... Yeah, I think we do have to play the Rafine's Informant. We, ha we have to block something. I mean, if they have Audacity, they have Audacity. That's fine. Hold up Ray to ensure the Scout dies. Ray doesn't do anything to Glade Cover Scout. Yeah, I I don't want to I don't want to risk dying. 
I like they have three cards in hand and they have two lands. I'm I'm more than willing to throw in a, a Rafine's informant to the wolves. Um, let's pitch the informant. Um, because if they don't find anything with trample or like hammer hand or something like that, Warbriar's blessing, then I get to block here and preserve my life total long enough to hopefully put this Liliana in play. Okay, they do have an audacity. Okay, and now they have a Skrelv. So that's really, really bad. Um, okay, so... I have to block. Um, so I have no outs now. No, I can play Knight of Autumn and blow up the Ethereal Armor, and that makes the Glade Cover Scout for each enchantment you control. So that gives that makes the Glade Cover Scout a three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. It it has to be this. Uh alternatively, no, I can't I can't I have to blow up a ethereal armor because I can just give this protection or hexproof or whatever it can't be blocked. So if they have no other auras, I will go to one. Okay, that that ends the game. All right. Um, am I willing to run it back? Uh. I guess the other question is, should I bring in Damping Sphere? No way. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> um, so, do I want to bring in the two duresses? Do I want to bring in the two duresses and go down a Mutt and an Informant? Uh, because they have ways to get around blockers. Uh, I took out so what I did, Brian, is I took out four chariots for four Lilianas. Um, I cut all the vessels because vessels too slow. I really want to keep the Witherbloom commands in because they blow up all of their enchantments. So I, I really think the question is whether I want the two to rest or not. Turn two discard might be needed. I, I'm not going down on discard. I want to go up on discard. I want I want to go two to rest in for something else. And right now my thought is. I could cut a traverse, yeah. I I could cut a I could cut two a uh, one traverse and one mutt and bring in two duress. Oh sure sure, yeah. The way I lose is a scout. I I'm a hundred percent aware of that. Yeah, I'll cut the other traverse and bring the second mutt back in. This one doesn't do it. Uh, this one might do it. Um, 
So our opponent kept seven, it appears. Yeah. So I think we're keeping Lily putting better. I think we're keeping everything except for the Sky Sovereign. Yeah. I agree. I don't think going to five is correct. And we really just need to dodge Cartouche. Yeah, they have the Glade Cover Scout. Okay, well, there's a Thought Seize. So do we want to Thought Seize them this turn? I don't think so. I think I want to just play Informant. And that way, yeah, it's it, like that progresses my game plan. And then if they go like double ethereal armor again, then I have a blocker to preserve my life total a little bit. Yeah, they do always just have scout. Okay, light pause is not great. Sixty card deck, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I need to know whether I think we still play Liliana and Edict them. So if they get rid of the Glade Cover Scout, that's good for us. If they get rid of the Light Paws, it's also good for us. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason not to Liliana Edict here. It takes a very, very scary threat off the board. And then we will leave the... They sack the Glade Cover Scout, okay. So do we want to swing with the informant? I don't think so. I think we want to protect the Liliana. So I'll pass. Yep. Yep, so that insulates them against a second edict. Get ethereal armor, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Audacity. They have another ethereal armor. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> so we die, right? That gets them there. They go get Griff Spoon. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay, well, we don't ever beat that hand, I guess. Well, no trophy today. No trophy today.